Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on editorials and articles. Now today's topic is AI revolution comes to drugs. This article is published in the magazine The Economist in the month December 2024. I'll give you the gist. On average, it takes 10 years and at least $2 billion to make a drug. Now it involves a lot of risk also. Only one tenth of the molecules that are tested in human clinical trials gets regulatory approval. The proponent of artificial intelligence says that AI has the potential to make drug development faster and cheaper. How is this possible? To understand this, we need to understand the process of drug development. See, it all starts with identifying a target. It could be a protein or DNA, which is involved in a disease. Now, once the target is found, researchers look for molecules which can bind with this target, which will activate the protein or inhibit the protein. Now, once this molecule is selected, it has to be tested for its safety and effectiveness. Initially, they are tested in computer models and then they are tested in animals. This phase is known as preclinical trials. Once the molecule is proven to be safe and effective in preclinical trials, then it gets into human clinical trials. You have phase one, phase two, phase three clinical trials are there. Once the molecule passes all these phases, phase one, phase two, phase three, then it gets regulatory approval and gets into the market. This is the brief process of drug development. Now, where does AI can show its potential is it is in preclinical stage. Usually researchers will take will screen a million molecules and land in one or two lead molecules. And it may take months of time and one third of the money is put in this phase. By using AI, it can analyze huge data related to target as well as the molecules. And it may, the time may be reduced to hours doing all the experiments in the system. Generative AI could predict molecules which could become good lead molecules. Now, in 2020, AlphaFold 2, a deep, uh, a model which is developed by DeepMind, has predicted all protein structures accurately. For this discovery, for this research, they have received Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 2024. Now, AlphaFold 3, an advanced version module, it can predict all molecules like DNA, RNA, ligand, a small molecule and protein structure. Now, why this predicting structure is so important? Now, understand this. Proteins are made up of attaching amino acids. Once a protein is found, it has got a particular structure. The structure decides its function. Imagine my hand is a protein. It can be like this or it can be like this. When the protein is only in this structure, in this three dimensional structure, it can show its function. If the structure is changed, it cannot show its function. Now, once that particular structure is predicted by these AI tools, drug discovery will become easier because you find a molecule which can go and bind with this particular structure. And this will reduce enormous time in preclinical stays. In silico, an, uh, an AI, uh, AI model which, which says that they have analyzed the target target molecule and they have developed a molecule which came into the human trials in 18 months with 2.7 million dollars which is a fraction of money and time. Now according to BCG a consultancy there are around 65 molecules which are in clinical trials developed by artificial intelligence. Now there are some drawbacks out there. Two of the British startups using AI they have come up with molecules which have shown disappointing results in clinical trials. Despite the setbacks, AI proponent says that AI has the potential to double the productivity in R&D, research and development. There is a law called as EROM law. According to that EROM law, the cost of drug development doubles every nine years. But with the advent of artificial intelligence, the law will become insignificant. So in future, we, we may see a lot of AI induced developed molecules coming into the market. In 2025, there could be around four to five disease treatment molecules. They are in already phase three clinical trials. We need to wait for the results. So this is about uh, AI revolution in the drugs. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching this video.